my name is Jason Morris. Uh, I'm by day a clinical team leader for the London Ambulance Service. Uh, I've been a flight paramedic with the London's Air Ambulance for the last six years. It's a brilliant job and it's amazing even after six years, you hear the clacks and your heart will speed up, the adrenaline will still run no matter how long you do it. One minute you're sitting there doing nothing, the next minute you're going to the sickest person in London. So within a flight paramedic's role, we have two jobs. We do 50% in EOC, so emergency control room, and we do 50% uh, flying. So I spent 12, 12 hours yesterday sieving through the 5,000 calls, looking for the types of calls. And uh, we average five activations a day now with London Air, London's Air Ambulance. Um, so we did four during the day and two at night. Uh, so in the control, it's just lots of ringing back people trying to to establish and working out, you know, we have one asset for London, we need to make sure we send it to the right person. And then control, we're the pivotal, without that person in control, with a paramedic in the control room, the service wouldn't exist. When we're here on the helipad, um, it's a very challenge and check day. So we start the day normally at 6.30 in the morning, um, and we have certain checks for the day that we challenge and check every bag, take it apart, make sure it's all checked. Uh, we'll have a briefing at nine o'clock, um, and then we go through training throughout the day, so we'll try and do a scenario uh, around about 10 o'clock. And then depending on what the day brings us, uh, it depends on what happens. So we're constantly on the hook, so we never, we're not allowed to leave here, so you have to plan your day. Um, you know, you have to have your lunch, uh, so we don't leave any, any further than 17th floor, so we're stuck here all day. On the road, you, you're normally by yourself, you're with your crewmate, but here you're working with a doctor, you're going to see the most sickest patients. So whereas on the road, I'd see one or two sick patients a year related to trauma. Um, here, I, so far I've seen over 200, 300 patients who are severely sick. So your level of acuity has gone up. So your level of skill needs to go up to match that. But we are part of a team. The doctors can not work without us and, and, the, and we can't work without the doctors. So, and likewise with the pilots. Um, for six years, you know, you, you form this amazing bond, you know, you get to meet people which you never have, have the opportunity to do and work in, in a world leading service. And that's what London is, you know, the pioneering Roboa, which if you had asked me six years ago, would I be putting a balloon up someone's archery in the middle of a road? No. You know, yes, we've always done thoracotomies and open heart surgery, but we're now pushing the boundaries and that's the type of service you're leading. And with that, you need to, to do lots of training and work as a team.